the addictions that I worked with most had been alcohol, cocaine, and sex addictions. Um, with alcohol, I've been lucky. I've had Alcoholics Anonymous as my co-therapist. And I have insisted right away that they get involved in Alcoholics Anonymous because I can't do the psychotherapy alone. Mm -hmm. Alcohol is so prevalent in our culture and so easily available and so much around our entertaining and socialization that uh, I've often um, just said, I can't do this by myself. You've got to get involved. Mm -hmm. In fact, on December 10th, I will get a phone call from a guy who now in about his 35th year of being sober. And on December 10th, 35 years ago, I said to him, you are an alcoholic in the first session and I will not treat you unless you go to AA. He said, well, I don't know how to do it. We got out the phone book. I looked it up. I organized a meeting for him that evening and he went to 90 meetings in 90 days. And he is now a key speaker, and he goes around the United States speaking at AA meetings. He's a very inspirational speaker about his own life. Um, cocaine has been much harder. We did have a group in New York of Cocaine Anonymous. A couple of my clients have used them. I found that they weren't nearly as effective as the psychotherapy. Um, many of the cocaine users tended to be using coke to pull them out of their depression. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to take them back into that depression, um, that emptiness, so that we can work with that wounded child. Same thing with sex addicts. Most sex addicts are deeply, deeply lonely. Um, and we're dealing with that sense of I'm nothing, I'm empty, and so I think those are the key elements, particularly in the cocaine and the sex abuse, but also in some alcoholics, is they're trying to anesthetize that loneliness. Mm -hmm. There's where a relationally oriented therapy is so important, of being with them in that process. And sometimes I've felt that once a week is just not enough um, to really be there and speak to that lonely little child inside mm -hmm. of them. So that's what I see as the common element. Mm -hmm. uh, script decisions are, are different in each one, but I think it's, the, it's that... See, the script is that unspoken physiological core of something's mm -hmm. empty inside. Mm -hmm.